What's up, everybody? I'm Kong Fukuya, and I read an, an Kotaku article today, and it's about an indie game that is actually free on Steam, and it's called Mar Mary's Room. It is a it is advertised as being like this game that you're supposed to play in one session, so there's like no save game. Uh, it respects your time, so it wants you to kind of like sit down, play this for one hour, and that's it. So. I am really intrigued by this concept because time is kind of like this this precious thing that is just becomes more and more and more important. So the idea that there's so many games, like the market, it's so saturated that this game designer just said it's for one hour, like one evening, play it for like you know during the evening when you have some spare time, and that's it. It's free, so it's kind of like the philosophy that the game is more important than just making money. So I'm really curious about this game. So without further ado, let's start game. I didn't want to come back. Why would I, after all that's happened, even in here? So, where is the journal? Where is the journal indeed? Hmm, so pictures. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. The bathroom is indeed a bathroom. All right. You'll have to excuse the clickety clickety. I got a mechanical keyboard. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. All right. Got some chairs, a fan, a box, a box, a postcard. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Kelsey Jackson, 1013 Memoria, St. Orange Grove, Canada, U.S. Right? Marie's Journal. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. What did you do? I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend. And I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you. And I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now I can't be near you. So I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be alright. I have a dream. Well, well. So I think I heard two voices. Pillow. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Plans are important. Phone. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, but she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Don't pick up. Hamburger phone. That day when we had really cummy, funny, funny, funny phones. Case. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Mm hmm. Alright, let's. Oh, okay. Damn it. What is the combination, Marie? Maybe she kept it in here somewhere. Somewhere. Let's find that somewhere. Alright then. Wow, we're walking slow. Bike helmet. I couldn't afford a car, <clears throat> and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah. I was losing my glamour status at school right there. 
Well, use a helmet for biking. Even though, no matter how you should feel about it. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Hmm. Indeed. Right? Fermi Paradox. Do something great. Ambitions. Oh well, uh, right. are there any books of interest? Hmm. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Hmm, interesting. Sparkly shoes. He had money, you see? He bought me things. We were dead. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. But now she knows all the shady things. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. Beer cans I've never and... actually seen her build anything. Hmm. So building is a par huge part of the thing. All right, and then let's see if there's something. Oh, TV. Turn on TV. Have you seen this man? Have you seen this man? No. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Tell me more, tell me more. Antimatter? Is that what it says? It's a bit blur blurry. Ring binder. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Scholarship is hardship indeed. Sheet of paper. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. That, that can that can, that, that, <laughs> yeah, that can be a hint for, for the, the lucky. 4th of March. Alright. That's a 4 and a 3. Supposedly. Poster. She wouldn't <clears> stop <throat> about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? Don't be boring. Oh, we got some Stephen Hawking. Requiestor in pace. No religious undertones. All right, uh, however big our world is, in our hearts, our minds, in our sized at at lasers, the universe is even bigger. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on the world's beaches. More stars in the universe than seconds of time that have been passed since Earth formed. More stars than words and sound ever uttered by all humans who have ever lived. The day we cease exploration of the cosmos is the day we threaten the continuance of our species. In that bleak world, arms-bearing resources, hungry people and nations would be prone to act on their low-contracted prejudices and would have seen the last gasp of human enlightenment until the rise of a visionary new culture once again embraced a cosmic perspective. A perspective in which we are one, fitting neither above nor below, but within. Neil deGrasse Tyson exists. Why, why thank you, Neil. The true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Fun fact is that my father always said that if you, got, if you have a good idea, don't tell anybody. And indeed, that fantasy is is sometimes much more important than just reiterating knowledge. My old man is a teacher. Picture. Mr. Torres, thick mm -hmm. as thieves, those two. <clears throat> Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Hmm. Alrighty. Is there any... Did we type the sheet of paper? Yeah, we did. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird indeed. 
because you already mentioned it, eh? <coughs> Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Me too. Me too. Chemistry holds no surprises. <coughs> Love that. So she's not a fan of surprises. Laptop. Hmm. Let's type Sephiroth. No. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. Everybody uses that. Let's see. Open notebook. La la la. Uh, that movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Ka-ching! It's probably outdated. La La Land. I actually like that movie. City of Stars. Are you shining just for me? Well, Marie man. always <clears throat> dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Well, I live in Europe every day. Preferably Norway. Let's see. Fan. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. Hmm. That night, I guess he must have seen us. What did you do? I wonder. I wonder. Vinyl. Oh yeah. LP is the best. I wore those a lot. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. What didn't you know? That you want us to know? That we already didn't know? I wonder. Bumblebee! It's like, I think there's, they had a cat. Presumably by the mouse. I'm not presuming anything. Right. Did we read that? Marie's journal. No. Oh. Last hope. We had a party today, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's go gorgeous. It surprises me, is all. I could see the, the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So, I'm going to fight it with everything I got. November 21st, 2017. OMG! Explanation mark. They put me on Kelsey's team. My heart raises whenever I stop to think about it. I don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder wh whether she remembers me from the uh, food rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on her science project. Did you get that? Our project? I feel like I'm going to explode of excitement. January 5th, 2017. We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying. And she's right. But matter is also life. And life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she got nothing to lose. Bam! She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Guess that'll show me. Show me. To believe that we're friends. I guess... I'm a shadow person, after all. I think she's gonna break her neck. By the way, see if I care. Loving the chemistry. February 14th, 2018. Book! I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. I went with Ben. Loved it. Kelsey was there too. I was so happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her. And she pushed me away. Asked me what I thought I was doing. 
and that Trevor Asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. Hmm, I am alone. March the th uh, 3rd of March, 2018. March 17, 2018. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet and told her not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was size 9 because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least, when I tried them on, I looked like little girl trying on mummy's shoes size 9 March 17th 2018 you may have noticed sweet journal that there are less and less F words in these pages I'm so friggin proud <laughs> only when I go berserk like when Kelsey threw that rock through my window then it's hard to keep up did you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly trying to extend my vocabulary here. Dad thought it ind indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute, but up to a certain age. But he said Mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Can't tell you how much that hurt every time, because I'd never see it again. I think, sec I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madame. Mad woman must have. The f swear jar. She called me her friend today. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. March 27th, 2018. I have a dream. How sweet, how sweet. Pillow. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Yeah, we already did the one. Again, she is a very methodical person. Broken promises, Simon Alexander. She likes rock and roll, emotional music, supposedly. Right, I th don't think there's off. Oh, I've been crouching all this time. Alrighty then, and take out menu. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. <laughs> hmm. All right. Take away food is nice sometimes. T-shirt. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Ooh. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because... It's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. What's the deal? A new deal. Marie. Exo. You'd think there's like a hint if you could pull out this one particular card. Huh. Alright, dear. Hmm. Journal. Is there a way I can, like, check the journal somehow? No. Never mind. A drawer. Opening the drawer. <clears throat> Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Poor guy. Huh. So many journal updates. But we need uh, the lock key. <clears throat> That's his phone. Mm. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. 
free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Hmm. So much journal up the uh, updates. Oh, I can zoom, zoom, zoom to see. All right. Did we interact with the world world, world map? We did. And uh, oh, drawer. Yes, opening drawer. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mm. mother. She might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. For my little Marie Curie. Marie Curie. Could that be like password? Curie? No. Damn, what's the password again? I'm not I need to find a, it. Okay, we need to I don't know. I'm not a something something something. Richard. Trevor. <coughs> what an asshole. After we broke up he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. Asshole? No. She must have written it down here. I think so. Let's, let's check the notebook again. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Sorry, didn't like it. Desk lamp. Woo! Illuminate me. Whoa. Library? Uh, library. She must I'm not a library. That doesn't make sense. Somewhere. Doesn't make sense. All right, where where could you have written it? Broken. I'm sorry. She was my oh. friend, and I had to tell her. What? So I came back here, <coughs> throwing stones at the window, ah. but she didn't react. So I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Hmm. Smoking jar. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Hmm. Right, Vancouver. Yes, that was that one. Yeah, use, 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 use. So, can I like go back? Oh, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it, but every time I used those keys, <clears throat> I felt a pang of guilt. Hmm. Shopping bags. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. So many things to interact with. Swimsuit. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool after dark. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Mm. Who was that someone? I wonder. I wonder. Okay. That's his backpack, okay. Ooh. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Hmm. Famous, famous. Orange apples. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Eating fruit is important. Getting those vitamins. Should... Anything else? <clears throat> All right. Yeah, we can continue now. Okay. So you read the journal on their bed, right? All is now harmed. Kelsey is so angry at the world, like all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. 
we all have a different story to tell. So as a friend, I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen, not wait for it. I told her to deal again, not drugs, the cards. April 9th, 2018. It's important, take action. Do what you love and do it now. Just do it. April the 11th, 2018. Kelsey broke up with Trevor. Finally. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. Fucking up. I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now. Things can only get better. April the 3rd. 13th, 2018. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do it. He'll do this or that. As if I got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. I do too. Sorry, friends. <clears throat> May the 22nd, 2018. These are the good times that make me forget. All my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? May the 19th, 2018. Kelsey took me night swimming in Mr. Jones' pool. I was scared shitless the first time. But ah, two bears and freshly picked oranges. Chill. Best nights ever. Nothing was the same. June 30th, 2018. There's been another home invasion just two blocks from here. They killed a woman this time, and the police think it's Trevor. Suppose it was him in our house. I can't wrap my head around it. It's too big, but Kelsey says it isn't true. That Trevor is, is a bastard, but would never commit such violent acts. Looking at the torn shirt, I think she might be in denial there. July the 5th, 2018. I did it. I I hope. I'm not going to regret this. July the 7th. We needed this. Beer, water and oranges. Like so many nights before Trevor. No, I'm not going to let him spoil my night at the pool with Kelsey. He who shall not be named shall not be named. Not today. Not today. Hmm. All right. So I guess we need just need more clues, more clues. Then we can. So, have we interacted most of these things? Oh, bike basket. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. This whole uh, whole game is about C vitamin. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. Mm. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? You already heard that one. Let's see. Is there anything? Anything else? Phone, lamp, lamp. So many like strange things I can interact with. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, okay, whiteboard. None of the signs. Oh, oh, oh. Beer bottle. Mr. Torres loved that beer. <clears throat> After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. During cozy times. Make it California summer beer time. Write it in. It's a beer. <clears throat> Anything else? Curtains. The roof. The roof is interesting. Lamp. Lamp. I think it's a light something. I like that crackly sound. Like wooden floors need crackly sounds. Shoes, drawer jack, pizza boxes, shirt, yeah, yeah, shoes, doormats, 
<laughs> oh damn, electricity. Let's see, shopping bags, yeah. <clears throat> Name badge. Oh, wait, wait. I don't think we checked this one. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Indeed. Indeed. Let's see. Let's see. What else do we got here? Did we, yeah, we did check. Disgusting. That. Yeah, disgusting. Indeed. So we got some few more entries. But I think they're back. Nothing was the same. Confused. Okay, okay, so there's some entries that I haven't read. Mm, okay, this one. We're going to be friends. I feel out of place everywhere outside of this room. She said she was sorry, I know, but fuck, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells. And that's not what a friendship should be like, right? I feel disconnected. She did not want to be my friend. She was embarrassed. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't ever forget. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I read this one. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for, for with Trevor's money. He's such a creep. I don't get what he's, what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous as if. Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this. But she doesn't. She got away from, from her mom all on her own. Kelsey is the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself yet. Beep. Boop. Stars, stars, stars. Right then. Ah. December the 4th. I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while. And I just wanted to make sure she is she wasn't hungry or something. So after her, my sandwich. Ah. How did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Mary. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. Now we're behind with the project too. I hope we make the deadline. Arrgh. Face. December the 22nd. So we're jumping a little bit back and forth between like timelines, I think. But it's nice to like fill in the gaps. Because in the beginning you just find a couple of clues and then you carry on. I'll carry on. Just stop. Uh, why do you keep writing this shit? I know there isn't much news in Orange Grove, but it's been ages. Not literally, but you know, they are never gonna find find them. I wish everyone would just stop, leave us alone, so I can't forget the whole godfall night. Some think my dad was a hero for trying to stop them. Truth is, we never saw them coming. When that guy jumped and stabbed my dad, something snapped and I would have Punched him, stretched his eyes out. I swear. I think I could have killed him. But the other one got to me before I even knew. There were two. I never saw their faces. Neither did my dad. So they never caught him. I'm not fearless. Let's see. Hmm, did we read this one? No, uh, I think, yeah, I think we read this one. <clears throat> Picture, cute cat, cupcake, mother and child. La La Land says... Yeah, I think we need to find... Uh, Nothing was the same. Well, we're getting closer. At least, I hope, I hope, I think. Let's check some get again in boxes. Wow. Did we just turn on TV? Yes, we did. Phone. <coughs> the drawer. 
did check the drawer, didn't we? Yes, we did, but... Oh, yeah. Lorraine? Lorraine's mom? That's Marie's mom. Why, why can't I... Ugh. Why can't I find out what's your password? She hmm. must... Yeah, she must have laid it somewhere. So, supposedly, it is readable. Somewhere over the rainbow. I, I could thought watch I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. You know, I might... This is Marie, but it, she doesn't like Trevor. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. I'm not a what? What now? Oh, charge. Don't be messing with my internet, yo. Hmm, I'm such a dimwit when it comes to finding, like, uh, clues and whatnot. But supposedly, the password should be... Usually passwords are personal. That's one thing to go by. Check the sunglasses. I wore those a lot. Oh, yeah. Not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. I didn't want anyone to know. Hmm. Is there anything to interact with the, the trash bin? <clears throat> no nothing. No nothing. Come on. Come on. We need to find some clues. We need to find another clue. Bumblebee. I'm not a, not a, no, not an asshole. Wake me up when I'm famous. Do, 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 do. Brooke Bowen, Simon Alexander. I think we have started, have interacted with most, most thingies. LP, month. Uh-huh. Mercury. It is Saturday. Oh. Oh. But can I? No. Why? That is so, like, hidden. And I noticed it. I wish I could interact with it. Come on. Come on. Saturday. Saturday. Well, it is Sunday. So it's just uh, one day off. <clears throat> hmm. So apparently this is like her childhood room. Considering like, oh, three years old. Marie. Ah, three years old. And it even says Marie. Nice knowing. This room is old. Old and familiar. To Marie. Ho... Broken window. Yeah. She was my friend, <clears throat> and I had to tell her. So I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone, and it shattered hmm. the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Holy shit. How, how, how do you play? Library. Okay, library. Well, there is no library here, but there are indeed... Books. Books. If you can even call that a library. Can't interact with the door. Lights. Some gibberish. Opel. Yorks. Alright. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Hmm. Well, can I deal? It's annoying that you cannot, like, uh, interact with it again. I'm not an. I'm not. I'm, no, I'm just gonna try. Troy, different things. Okay, I'm not an orange. She must have written it down here somewhere. Library. No. She must have written it down here somewhere. It has to be somewhere. Somewhere. Lorraine, my little Marie's mother. mom died when she was five. Lorraine? My but, it's, but it isn't written somewhere. She must have written it down here somewhere. Desk lamp, illuminate for me. Where could it be? I wonder. Desk lamp, show me. Written. It has to be written somewhere. Well, it is written there, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. Somewhere where it is written. 
La La Land, maybe. That makes no sense. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Hmm. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was. Hmm. 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 Where would I wrote down the password? I would write it on the goddamn, goddamn, uh, internet machine. Picture. I was gonna say, time travel. Can I travel in time? I wonder. I wonder, as I wonder, this one will uh, also yes. it. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose Mr. Torres. And now we're just interacting, but I think, I think I have a dream. Nothing's the same. Maybe there's a hint to one of these. Written it somewhere. It should be here then. I'm not going to regret this. Mm -hmm. California. Nothing was the same, all right? There are good times that make me forget. Already that one. Where, where, where could have right written it? It's a Joker. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a joker. I'm not a joker. I'm not a shadow person anymore. Shadow person, shadow person. Spooky. Okay. Let's try that. Shadow person. It worked. Holy shit. Then again, she kind of hinted it very early on. Okay, so what is this? Oh. One day, I just had to know what's up with all the cats. She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they. When Bumblebee went missing, Bumblebee. Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Trevor, you bastard. Bumblebee, four-year-old cat. Cats. Male, orange, and white tabby. Bumblebee usually wears a red collar with his name. He's an orange tabby with white chest and paws, green eyes. Please help find him. Missing since... June 23rd. <clears throat> Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Spooky. Don't buy guns. Jesus Christ. Don't don't have guns, don't buy guns, don't do guns. I had guns when I was in the army. Thankfully that was it. Kitty. No. So strange now when you think about it. Like GIF is is not that not such a big deal, but when you think about it, like GIFs are like history. People watch GIFs years, years from now, even though the internet might be polluted. Imagine that. Oh, in this history lesson, we'll look at this GIF. Quite hilarious. Anyone remember the troll? Yes, my grandfather actually made that one. How oh, indeed. All right, so we know more about the. She had a gun. There was an incident. <clears throat> Let's see. Were there any, like, new entries? Let's see. Oh, yeah. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Alright. This is the beginning. Oh, yeah. I know it's him. And there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. June the 23rd. I can't sit and watch. I'll have to do up to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns of anyone. Not that I meant to shoot anyone. It's just... I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? 
protection rifle. Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting me out of town's, town somewhere, a little shady, I admit, but with travel lurking around, I'll take my chances. Well, guns don't don't shoot flowers, but if you buy flowers and you toss them, it's kind of like shooting flowers. Don't buy guns, Jesus, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So there's still the issue with the lock. The lock was that the backpack? No, no. Disgusting, but cheap. Disgusting. All right, so case, yeah. I need to find the key, a five-figure number. Five-figure number could be related to Trevor, I think. Could be, could be five letter. Okay, five, 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 five. Give me five letters. Could be a date. Could be a date. Isn't it? Yeah. Like you have month and date. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing was the same. We could try just find okay, seven seven two thousand eighteen. I need to find the key. A five figure number. No. Stupid. Of course, that'll be six. Hmm. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him. For what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Maybe there's a clue in the shadow person. So self-deprecating password. Hmm. One day I just when Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. 623, 2018. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what did I say? 16, 13, 23. Double checking. Check our person. One day, when 23, 23, 23, I'm just Marie cried. What is the code, Marie? Wait, the journal. It must be in the journal. God damn it. What is the combination, Marie? Maybe she kept it in here somewhere. What is the code, Marie? Right. Then it must be in the journal. Such an idiot. <laughs> All right. Oh, one. Okay. Is there a password for each page? Nine. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Three. There's five digits. Okay. Three. Three, four, nine. Three four nine one. Three four nine one. Okay, so I think there's a letter missing. What is the code, Marie? Wait. The journal. It must be in the journal. Let's just try everything. God. She must wrong combination. Crap. God damn it. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Oh my god. Holy shit. Is it gone? Holy shit. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. 
so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. Pop. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. God damn it, Trevor. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. Don't rob houses. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... <laughs> what do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Rest in peace, Trevor. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Should I bring the journal? All right. Bring in the journal. Let's go downstairs. It's 9.53. And the weather is sunny. 100 again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. Hmm. It's hot. Don't need to go in there. 
That's the bathroom. Hmm. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Wish I was there with them. No, that's her parents' room. Hmm. Whoa. We're finished? What? Kenny Gillum. 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 Kelsey Lauren Hedler, Marie Dagmar uh, Blomart, Kelsey's daughter Lauren Ann Higgins. Wow. Yeah, th this is was something original. Something very different. I think that like the style is very like minimalistic and I get that the whole genre of like it's so easy to just stamp them as like oh it's a walking simulator you know but I think these games are really nice if you if you play a lot of these action again I'm not trying to contrast it to like oh action games are mindless things and these are you know mind opening to our world I'm personally I'm not a big fan of like indie games because there's so many so many of them but I like when when certain creators do something that is kind of like uh, not necessarily like groundbreaking but break kind of like our perception of what a video game is I think that everybody freaking loves Metal Gear Solid and Hideo Kojima but back in those days it was so fascinating the thing that you minor spoilers uh, with Psycho Mantis, that if you place the controller down and you had like the DualShock controller, it was like the first PlayStation, the original PlayStation controller didn't have vibration, but during Metal Gear Solid's release, you got the DualShock version with the uh, with the thumbsticks and vibration, and Psycho Mantis says, "Oh, put the put the controller as flat as you can," and he does this telepathic thing, and the controller vibrates, and it kind of like emulates the way that he breaks the fourth wall, so. These types of like like uh, uh, game mechanics is interesting, but for me, this game is more about like no save games, which means that you have to play it in one sitting, because we are so so rigid with time. I think that is why like today Fortnite and Overwatch is the status quo because story games is so demanding now and so like time consuming. But knowing that you can sit with a game for like one hour it's kind of like okay you make a promise with with the, with the players so it's just gonna take one hour that's it but that's all i'm ex uh, expecting of you on top of that the game is free so it's not a like a huge commitment like uh, economic wise so i enjoyed it it was interesting i like the thing that you have to like solve a puzzle if i have to break down a game it's, it's kind of like point and click everything and the major uh, puzzles are basically the the laptop password and the lock pickup, which is kind of obvious when you when you when it says oh look at a journal, then you start looking for numbers and then you figure like okay it's from the from left to right and there's one missing, so yeah you just try and try and try and trial and error until you you fix it. Unless uh, I had a fun time, it's interesting. It's good to do something different. So uh, hopefully I will try something similar and if you enjoyed it, please write in the comments like what what type of in indie games that I should be playing because there have been so little even though I know there's a lot of hype certain certain type of indie games. So thank you so much for watching. It's almost one hour so it's a huge sitting for you guys and a huge commitment so your watch time is precious to me. So thank you again so much for watching. I am Kung Fu Kuya. I'll see you around. Take care.